All right, here we are in lesson 12. And in lesson 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, we're going to be working on division of whole numbers. So um, lesson 12, we're going to divide multi-digit numbers by multiples of 10 and record in the vertical form, which you hopefully learned in fourth grade. Um, but that's okay. We will review it. So you can see we have a question on the board. Miss Song separates 360 t-shirts into boxes. She puts 40 t-shirts into each box. So we need to figure out the exact number of boxes of t-shirts. And there might be several different ways that you could think about this problem. Um, let's see some possible different ways that we could think about this problem. I have some here in the teacher's guide. So 36 tens divided by four tens is nine. All right, and you can see here 360. You can pull out 200 and you can pull out 160. And then you can divide 200 by 40, which would be five. And if you're thinking about what we've been working on. Let me just grab a pen here. Um, you can see, take away one zero, take away one zero, 20 divided by four is five. And then 160 divided by 40, take away one zero, take away one zero, 16 divided by four is four. All right, and we can take away one zero for each um, div divider in our, um, in our problem. Okay, so then we have five plus four is nine. Okay, so you see how we took broke that apart using this model. We can also think about three, 36 tens and four tens is nine. 36 divided by four is nine. And as we've been talking about before, if you're having trouble thinking about division, it's the opposite of multiplication. So 36 divided by 4 is 9 because 9 times 4 is 36. So if you look at your multiplication table, you can look at the 9s and the 4s, right? And they're going to come across and meet at 36, right? I'm just kind of making a visual here of your multiplication table, and 36 is here where they meet. And then you can also think, okay, I can find 36, and if I'm dividing by 4, then I look this way and I see that my answer is 9, okay? Because I know some of us are still struggling with multiplication and division, and that's okay, right? We're thinking about the fact families, all right? Very good. Let me put my pen away here, and let's go back to this screen. All right, so today we're going to be dividing two and three digit numbers by multiples of 10, and that's just an introduction. Okay, now we're going to go on to looking at it this way, 360, right? We have 360 t-shirts, and we're going to put 40 in each box. All right, so how can we interpret this division problem? We can think, you know what, let me write the problem again here for us, just so we don't lose track. 360, 360 t-shirts, and 40 are going into each box. So we're dividing into groups of 40, and we want to know how many boxes we're going to need. All right, so we can think how many groups of 40 are in 360. Or we can think how many groups of 40 are going to add up to make 360. Okay, let me see if I have another slide here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so 360 divided by 40. We already know it's going to be 9, right? Um, we're already talking about taking away our zeros, right? 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. We can also do it this way using the tape diagram, right? How many 40s fit into 360? And now we're also going to be using the standard algorithm of division, okay? Standard algorithm of division. That's just 
the standard way that people in America do write out division. Okay, so we're going to say how many 40s fit into 360? 9, 9 times 40 is 360, and the answer is zero. The subtraction is zero. Okay. All right. So we're just looking at the different ways to divide and making sure that we are all, you know, up on that. Um, also, there's some vocabulary to think about with division. And I think our, our, there it is. Okay. So in division, the first number is called the dividend. All right. This is the number that's being divided. Then we have the divisor. OR means it's the action, right? So um, OR or ER, the runner is the one who runs. The teacher is the one who teaches. So the divisor is the one who divides. And then the answer is a quotient. And we have been we're talking about the word quotient for a while. All right. Also, the dividend is the one that goes inside the house. Okay. And this can be a little confusing for people too, because here it's in the beginning, but then down here, the 40 is in the front. Okay. But the 360 is being divided by 40. 360 divided by 40. All right. So if you need to write that down in your notes, just to make sure that you know uh, which parts are where, you can do that. Um, you can do that on page 99 at the beginning of lesson 12, or you could do that wherever you have space, really. And if you wanted to get a uh, lined paper and put it in there, you know, just to have your notes nice and clean, that's up to you. All right. So important vocabulary word for division. Okay. Let's go back. To our slides here. Oops. What happened to our slide? <laughs> now I'm clicking on all kinds of things. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. All right. So while the slide comes up, Let's talk a little bit more about division. Um, another problem that you don't have on your screen yet. Let's see if we can get our slide to come up. We are still struggling with our slides, but I think I can go to our next problem. Mr. Perez is our next problem. And Mr. Perez is not yet in your book, so here we go. Oh. Sorry for the delay. We're almost there. Teachers aren't perfect either. There's Miss Song. There's Mr. Perez. Okay. Mr. Perez separates 216 hats into bags. Wow. Mr. Perez has a big donation of hats and he's going to put them into bags. He's going to put 30 in each bag and then give the remaining hats to a raffle. How many hats does he donate? Okay. So He's putting them into bags. Those bags are not the donation bags, right? He fills each bag with 30 hats and donates the remaining hats. The remaining hats. Remaining means leftover, right? Mom cooked hamburgers for dinner last night and there were three hat, oh, three hats, three hamburgers remaining, three leftover, okay? So how many hats does he donate? Only the leftovers, okay? So what is the 216? 
the 216 is the number that's being divided. That's your dividend, the number of hats that he has. Okay, and what does the 30 represent? The number of hats in each bag, the number you're dividing by, the divisor. Okay, so how can we find out how many bags he needs to fill with hats? Well, we're going to have to use division, right? 216 divided by 30. Yes? Okay. In the expression 216 divided by 30, which number is the dividend and which one is the divisor? Dividend, right? Divisor. Divisor is the one doing the action. Okay. The number in each group the number being divided, dividend. Approximately how many bags can he fill? Approximately. Okay, so let's think about dividing. Now when we divide, remember, we're gonna be using um, friendly numbers. So I'm thinking about 210 divided by 30. Can you think about why I would use 210? Because I know that 3 times 7 is 21, right? And I can get rid of my two zeros. So it's going to be about 7, right? Okay, so it's going to be about 7. Now, how much would it really be, right? I could say um, 30 times 7 is 210, and then how many are left over? Right, 30 times seven is 210, and I have six left over. Is my six that are left over enough to make another bag of 30? No. So how many hats does he donate? He donates six hats, right? He donates you can probably write faster than me. He donates six hats. And like I said, this is not in your book yet. You're just going to need to take some notes on this. Okay. He donates six hats. So how many 30s are there in 210? There are seven with six left over. Okay, sorry, I was just looking to see if there was another um, one there because I do have some nice things here in my book, right? We can see um, 730s, right? And then six left over. Okay, don't worry if um, you're still learning about division. That's okay because we're still working on it, right? Little by little, this is our first lesson and just keep focusing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Yep. <laughs>